area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. And I'll give you ladies something to shake the beefy cheeks to. You hear me? I'm a devil type of sandwich, very sexy, I'm a manish. Looking for some beefy shorty, shaking Mr. Beefy. Throw that coochie pussy, if you feed me, I'ma eat it. Just don't play no games, if you do it, I'ma beat it. Yeah, Mr. Beefy. Extreme talent, and then you got babied. You got baby, you got given everything, and you kept coming home with D's on your report card, and you still got your allowance. And you still do. Congratulations, you found a way to manipulate the system. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Let it click and blend. Hit your man. Follow me on Instagram, Bada underscore fly. Tell you my mind. Say hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Salute to everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Also, salute to my guy, CEO of 5000, Big Reed Notorious with the intro video, Mr. Beefy. Salute to Vano, all of Chicago, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of love in the Midwest, man. Salute to the whole Midwest. But um, I got to talk to another part of the Midwest. Salute to A Ward, you know what I'm saying? He, he took to YouTube, and I be telling artists all the time to promote yourself. Jump on your channels, talk about your moves, talk about your music, talk about your branding and things like that. To address the New Jersey Twerk interview. See, the thing is, Twerk came out with an interview on 15 Minutes of Fame. It was only out for a very short time. Uh, if you got to watch it, you got to watch it. The video has since been taken down for whatever reason. I don't know the reason why it was taken down, but uh, you know, once it's out there, it's out there. We can talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope everybody out there is having a good day. I'm actually on my um, Venti Dragon Fruit Lemonade from Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? That's actually a pretty good twist. If you need a drink suggestion, Venti Dragon Fruit Lemonade, that's that's fire. But, uh, so, he did an interview on 15 Minutes of Fame with Uncle Ross, Lutz, Uncle Ra, um, Heavy Bags, Restore Order Podcast, all that and all that and all of that, where he talked about a Award. And he said basically A Ward's a whore, he battles from here, he goes from league to league. And this is just paraphrasing, don't quote me boy, because I ain't said shh. He, para he basically said he's a whore, he goes from league to league, he doesn't want to commit to being on just the URL. He chooses to make all of these moves, why would you battle me for free? And basically just talked down and said that when he comes to URL, he has no problem smoking him as far as New Jersey twerk is concerned, you know, and the thing about New Jersey's work, I'm not here to speak a, a bunch of neg negativity on him today, you know what I'm saying, because everything that has happened with him in his career, whether it be positive or negative, has been well documented, so that's not the energy that we're trying to give out, we're just talking about both sides and what happened, A-Ward did fire back at him, so he basically was saying that, you know, A-Ward is just, you know, he's doing what he's doing, he's going from league to league, he doesn't want to commit, you know what I'm saying, and A-Ward has been, been on the record saying he signed a contract, the battle twerk. The battle did not happen. And, um, you know, and you know, basically that, a War was basically saying that twerk is never held responsible for anything that he does. What, what did I tell you in the first? He's not in the doghouse. He has all the leverage. He can do whatever he wants. You're not gonna make him take the battle. You know what I mean? Cool. Second thing. A Ward is homeless and he's a whore and he, you know, he needs to be loyal and he needs to do this, that, and third. Look, just because at one point in time you were homeless and somebody clothed you and gave you everything, that's fine, bro. But that was you. You weren't getting the bags I get. You weren't getting the opportunities I get. And you weren't getting the battles, the notoriety, or any of that, bro. Like, none of it when you battled Dougie. None of it. So, of course, you need to be loyal to URL. They brought you in, you know? They noticed your talent, they scouted you, they brought you in because you had been battling for a couple of years and nobody cared. And boom, they put you on the biggest platform and you became a star. So yes, in the analogy, you are the homeless woman. Guess who's not the homeless woman? The person that didn't need them to do anything. He's been babied. I do have some of his blog, I will put it in here as far as the response goes. Um. But what I will say is this, like, with what people like B-Dot, and then and A Ward said in his interview, well not interview, his blog, that you know, people like B-Dot, people like himself, and people like Loso built their own brands. Like, 
They built their brands from the ground up. They were able to have a sustainable fan base without being developed by the URL. There are two different type of artists. Right? They're two totally different types. You have artists who they find, like they find out of nowhere. They find you, nobody knows of you. They put you through the system, you get big, you blow up, and then boom, you know what I'm saying, you become a superstar. They have done that with a lot of people. There are a lot of people that nobody even knew of at all. I'm not gonna go through every single person who I feel like, oh, you didn't know this person, oh, you didn't know that person, because then what happens is an artist comes back and says, yo, I had 25 battles before I was on URL. Nobody watched them, but I still had 25 battles. That doesn't count. Talking about <laughs> having a name and having a brand when you go somewhere. If you have a brand already, they have to treat, they should, you should be treated as such. But in these scenarios, what it's looking like is it's not happening or they're trying to make it not happen. But then you got artists that know their worth who's not going for it. Now I hear, I hear the chirping and I hear the tweeter, 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 tweeter. Oh, you caping for him or you can't, listen. Whatever you guys got personally, the few that there is, it's only a few, it's not a whole bunch of people. The issue that some of you guys may have with people that are that don't look like you or are not your race, I don't have those issues. I don't. I don't have any issues with any race. I'm not that type of person that's going to be like, oh, because he's Spanish or oh, because he's, I don't do that. I, that's not what we do. It's fair across the board. If you're cooking, they booking. I don't look at it like, oh, just because he's white or oh, just because he's Indian or because he's Hispanic or because he's Haitian. It don't work like that for me. If you fire, you fire. It don't matter who it is. If it was somebody else who wasn't on URL, but had built a sustainable fan base for themselves and got big, we'd be having the same conversation. It does not matter to me. So you can remove that narrative. You know how they gotta love to throw that word around. Um, and say this, but when I watched um, A-War's interview, he kind of got at twerk. He basically was like, yo, you've been babied your whole time. I heard some even throw around the word Ben Simmons. He's saying he's been babied. Like, you know, he, he has not, never held accountable. He could show up and basically spit on the floor and he's still gonna get booked on card after card after card. Does everybody have that same opportunity? Absolutely not. It's <laughs> absolutely not. There's some artists that can't even get booked at all. Like these guys can't even get booked. They didn't forget spitting on the floor. They can't even get booked. And then if they lose, <laughs> You out of here, you're gone. We're never gonna see you again. But what I will say in Twerk's defense is he is um, representing URL to the highest regard. You know what I'm saying? He holds the platform to a certain, like he, he's representing that. Does he do a lot of battles everywhere else? Of course he does all these one round battles, all these different places. And when he showed up prepared, I don't know how what, what percentage of the time that is, but when he showed up prepared, He's one of the most dangerous forces, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people have given him flack. I've given him flack for, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be choking or recycling bars and shit like that. I know he got an attitude. He caught feelings when I when I, when I I recapped the him and Swave battle. But he reused material. Like, I can't do nothing about that. I got nothing for you. But when he's in his bag, when he's in his bag and focused and determined, he's one of the most powerful forces in battle rap. But where does the motivation come from? I don't know. Now, he did say, New Jersey Twerk did say, I must give him credit for this one. He said, <clears throat> I can't do this back and forth with A Ward. Bring me his boss, Loso. He basically said, Bring me the boss. I'm not going back and forth with A Ward. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, Bring me his boss. You know how y'all know how this shit be moving, man. You know, you know, the, the bright lights, cameras, and all of that. Bring me his boss at everything, Loso. Loso responds to this and says, What the hell you think is going to happen? <laughs> The hell you think is gonna happen if you battle any one of us? <laughs> How long you been running for again? Four years? I'll help him out though. Basically saying, Loso saying that I take the battle. I will take the battle versus Twerk and I will deal with, it, with the situation for you once and for all. Now could this be something that could potentially motivate him? You would hope so. But at the same time, it's like, is is this dude talented? Of course he's talented. Nobody's gonna take that away but it, it just comes with the level of focus. And um, I was talking to someone yesterday, you know what I'm saying, who, who has a good knowledge of the situ situation and was saying that one can't be the ambassador of the right thing to do and how a league can help you when they're, they're showing all of the attributes of what you shouldn't do when you're in that position. And you know, like if a guy like Gigi Gotti 
is the one that's saying this stuff. He's done everything that you would ask for an MC to do. He's became the face of a brand. Matter of fact, that's another blog. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not, we, we're not even, that's a whole another situation right there. That's, I'm not even going, we're not even gonna put that in here. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let that situation be that situation because I wanna talk about something else. But yeah, uh, A-Ward, uh, he was kinda in his bag. I'm not, I, I'm just letting y'all know. It is what it is, man. But uh, salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or passing. Um, Remember to follow me on the gram, um, Vada underscore fly. We will pick out about two or three random people to get the max out pay-per-view. I know a lot of people have been asking how it's going to happen, but listen, I'm good money when it comes to that. Every single time I said I was going to give out a pay-per-view, I gave it out. You know what I'm saying? More than once, I gave out pay-per-views for max out one. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing you really got to do is just follow me there, and you know what I'm saying? We will we'll work out more of the logistics. Me and Showtime SP will be back together in about three weeks full time. Um, I've been well documented letting y'all know that I'm retiring from my job. You know what I'm saying? I got my release date and uh, you know, my only job will be me and my kids. You know what I'm saying? Take care of kids, take care of family, shit like that. And uh, bringing y'all better content. We got a new studio, new backdrop, new layout, new everything. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be, it's, 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 it's going to be up there is all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting slim. I'm in the gym getting trimmed, and y'all niggas know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing, man. <laughs> the A-Ward situation is out of control, man. I'm just going to be honest with you. He he said what he said as far as that whole shit goes, you know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all niggas want me to do? Gang. And I'll give you ladies something to shake the beefy cheeks to. You hear me? Whatever type of sound is very sexy, I'ma manage. manage. Looking for some beefy shorty shaking, Mr. Beefy. Throw that coochie pussy if you feed me, I'ma eat it. Just don't play no games if you do it, I'ma beat it. Yeah, Mr. Beefy.